What do the uh, unbelieving nations issue as actual money or currency? Well, they issue play debt money. And uh, play debt money is really just debt contracted by gaming, and therefore they issue the Monopoly Board money. We'll call it Federal Reserve money, fiat legal tender. Uh, because now you've become legal, not in grace, and therefore this money now that most people are feeling uh, is either becoming very, very diluted because of the existence of how it is used and how it's being depleted based on a value that was gambled by all those that had made themselves placed on value by giving away their unalienable, by transacting in a legal name, and therefore they became that value and now the value is running out because it's borrowed money. Therefore, so little of it is left on the open market and that's why most of the transactions are all done by digital faith. Belief that a system like this could continue and will never run out. Well, why is the United States in trillions of dollars of debt? Why is it that it appears the nations cannot stay alive anymore? It's because the participants do not realize they're bankrupt in sin and have entered into a third party agreement to borrow against a bankrupt position and therefore are charging the debt up at astronomical rates instead of discharging the debt of which they did not realize the birth certificate was really only to be used for. Bankruptcy protection with only the signing authorities on that being the oligraph or the high official signatories that can actually only enter that code to discharge the debt. But all the participants who do not know that have been charging up their debt and there is no fixing this position now because the aggregate is about to fall. And danger is soon awaiting because when this gets to such a level, those controlling it will just decide to pull the plug on the artificial energy of that artificial money, of that artificial wagering debt that all those unalienable acts of God who have become an act of state have engaged into, ruled by pagan feudal lords. And therefore, they're going to declare martial law. Now, many people don't understand this. They don't know what martial law is. They will martial debt many times, but they're going to martial law to control all those civil participants who don't realize being a civilian means they're a pagan. Automatically a Gentile with a Gentile name. You cannot be a Christian and be a Gentile. You cannot be a Christian and be a pagan. You cannot be a Christian and be a civilian. You cannot be a Christian and be in the army or the militia. So therefore, there's only one position for a true Christian of the Ecclesia, but not the Ecclesia of the Pope, the Ecclesia of true Christians, the followers of Christ, the disciples of Christ that were no part of the world. Therefore, your Christian name is not part of the G20 nations, not ever part of that, because the tribe of Judah, where Christ came from, was never part of the international collective of nations. And therefore, you are native with that name. And that's why the Christian birth event of Christ was the nativity scene, free of artifice. And when they marshal all those on the other side under the fiction of the Gentiles, the I Magi nations of the world, martial law will not be a, a pleasant, a, shall we say, a plague that is soon to come according to Revelation. Come out of her, my people, if you do not want to partake with her sins and receive part of her plagues, being the unholy Roman Empire that runs this entire world through Satan and its lawyers. Martial law. Here's what is waiting for all the social insurance registrants who have registered themselves into mammon and money, gain, wages, death, Everything prophesied in the Bible will soon come upon all those that are, are basically categorized in the unfaithful, not those that are, are deemed to be faithful or redeemed to be faithful. Martial law will come upon all civil registrants, all those participating in the world, all those who have constituted themselves to be a debtor of the world, not a friend of God. Here's what is coming. Martial law exists when military authorities carry on government or exercise various degrees of control over civilians or civilian authorities in domestic territory. 
a system of law obtaining only in time of actual war and growing out of exigencies thereof, arbitrary in its character and depending only on the will of the commander of an army, which is established and administered in a place or district of hostile territory, held in belligerent possessions or sometimes in places occupied or pervaded by insurgents, what to say those with insurance, gambling, or mobs, the mass, and which suspends all existing civil laws as well as civil authority and the ordinary administration of justice. Martial law, which is built upon no settled principles, so it will not be based on the principles that recognize the supremacy of God. This is all based on military rules, war, engagement in war to finally come down on the civil belligerents who did not know who their god is. So martial law, which is built upon no settled principles, but is entirely arbitrary in its decisions, is in truth and reality no law, but something indulged rather than allowed as a law. The necessity of order and discipline in an army is the only thing which can give it countenance and therefore it ought not to be permitted in time of peace when the king's courts are open for all persons to receive justice according to the laws of the land. Martial law is neither more nor less than the will of the general who commands this, the army. It overrides and suppresses all existing civil laws, civil officers, and civil authorities by the arbitrary exercise of military power and every citizen or subject, in other words, the entire population of the country within the confines of its power. Christians are not under the confines of its power. They are of a ambassador jurisdiction. They are of God, the highest power. Therefore, not under the confines of this because they have not identified themselves within that perimeter that the civil authorities with their military authorities above them can enact. It says, is subjected to the mere will or caprice of the commander. He holds the lives, liberty, and property of all in the palm of his hand. Martial law is regulated by no known or established system or code of laws as it is over and above all of them. The commander is the legislator, judge, and executioner. Listen to the last, second last sentence. Martial law is regulated by no known or established system or code of laws as it is over and above all of them. Let's look where I found the word over and above in the law dictionary. We're gonna go to a very unpopular word that I think I have not been able to remove out of people's minds once they've become enlightened by it, what it really means. So let's go over to the unpopular opposite to your Christian name, which you carry by your own choice surname, the name over and above the Christian name. So when you're in that category, you won't be able to call out in your Christian name as a state registered religious participant. It will not matter because that name that you said last, the burden is now on you and now they will place the burden of all the debt on you because it is about to collapse and they will need to call in military enforcement to enforce the payment of the debt by all the registrants, which is going to lead to the Mark of the Beast law. Surnames having beast emblems in their coat of arms, they will be a beast. With that name, all will get the Mark of the Beast, the, the military general who will declare this martial law. And you will have no choice at that point because the time has run out. Just like when Noah entered into the ark with his family, God closed the door. Are you going to get into the ark of life that will save you by removing yourself from this system? 
forsaking all, yes, you may lose family members that will not enter into that arc of life with you. They are prepared to commit suicide with their custom costume suicide name, which is their surname, because they value their possessions more than their life. Make the right choice. Choose God, and you choose life. Oh, that's subtle.